There was just the one idiot. Well, there was two of them in the car, actually. You know the type. Well, welcome back to the channel, eh? Yes, welcome back. And we're back in Penrith. <laughs> and we've come back to Penrith, to exact hospital. That's all looking good, isn't it? All looking good, straight in, seen, out, and he's been signed off with his yeah. knee now, so that's brilliant. And we're back at the toll bar stop over where we yeah, stopped. Yeah, the campra. Because we've got the spaces for the suspension. We've got a jack borrowed off the guy, he's letting us use his concrete. So all we've got to do is take the struts off either side and bolt these in between. Sounds simple. Sounds simple. But the top of the strut is buried in the top of there. So we've got to be very careful of all the wiring. I've already stripped these panels off. So next job we need to get the wheels off and the struts out. So we're on day two because day one we failed. Um, we didn't have a jack that had lifted it high enough. Now we've got two jacks under it. We've got some wood under here. Now I've managed to get the bolts out from under there. Got two bolts out there, got two to take out, lower it down, remove the strut, put that on top, and bolt it back up. Sounds easy, doesn't it? Well we're not going nowhere now, we've got the strut off. And all you gotta do is sit that on there and them locators and fit it back on again. And it weighs a ton. And you've got to be in the cab putting the bolts in at the same time. So when you come to fit this in here, you haven't got the locators anymore. So you need the patience of a saint to get them bolts in. Oh, it's red, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Oh, we've already pulled shaft out at gearbox and let a bit of oil out of there. So uh, well, anyway, we're putting this side back together now. Well, that's one side complete. Oh, now the tour of the other side. I can think of better things to be doing on a Sunday morning. These are big struts. These are. And it takes a bit of getting back in there, so if you ever do one of these, two people. <laughs> Last push, then we can hit the road. I'm not feeling it. I'll be honest, I'm not feeling it. We're doing another set of hands. Oh. And it's fell off. Oh. Make sure that stops on top. <sighs> Whose idea with this? Now it's a guessing game when you go up top trying to put them bolts in because the spacers don't have locators like the original top of the original struts. Oh. So if anybody's interested in having a set of these fitted, don't ask me. <laughs> I'm not doing no more of these. Not on the floor like this. Very awkward on your own. Trying to get this, as you can see, the strut there. It's well out of line. Limited tools. <sighs> so with an absolute ton of cursing, trapping several fingers, breaking two screwdrivers, and managed to get them on, haven't we? Don't don't forget this chucking 600 teddies across the field. Yeah, I've lost all the teddies. They all went straight over that wall that was next to us. But we've got them on it, but yep. we need to road test it now, make sure everything's okay, which that's it should it. be, so. Right, that's the park up I've found. Catherine's found a park up. Um, we need some shopping as, we always need shopping, don't we? <laughs> Every 10 minutes we need to go shopping. So we're going to get loaded up now. We're going to test run it down the road, make sure everything feels okay. Um, and then we're heading up to Scotland. You ready? Yep. We're ready. Well ready. Yeah. <laughs> Sometimes I feel like crying, but the tears just won't fall. Sometimes I feel like dying, no one really cares at it all. But there's hope in the wind, I feel it upon my skin, and the sun. So the wheel situation is a lot better, isn't it? Oh, it's a relief to drive it now. It's a total relief now. Um, on his way up through Scotland, we decided to stop at a place that we've been interested in, but we've never stopped here before. Yeah. It's the site where the lock would be bombing, where the plane came down and took the houses out. And there's just a bit of a memorial here now. And that's the... Uh, of the people that was in the houses down here. 
Let's look at the air disaster in 1988. Got some beautiful hostas along there, look, haven't they? They're big boys. Yeah, it's right near the road, it's a bit noisy here, isn't it? But can't be helped, can it? No. We thought we'd call and pay our respects, didn't we? We did. It's, just, it's a bit of a quiet road, so we've just parked on the edge of the road there. But it's an absolutely glorious day, isn't it? Red up. Absolutely redders. <laughs> Even the poor plants are wilting. Yeah. <laughs> look at the plants, they need good water down here. Look at them, they're just starting to wilt in the heat. So, Catherine's found a park up a bit further north. Yeah. So, um, this is somewhere we just wanted to call off and say yeah, we well, visited. It was en route anyway, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, it's en route. It's nice so. to have a chance to call off. So we're going to hit the road again and uh, try and find somewhere to park up for tonight. Yeah, looks Hope, nice, fingers ho crossed. Hopefully a bit more wild camping rather than paying for camping because yeah. we spent a fortune <laughs> on camping over this last couple of weeks. Yeah, no more campsites now for a bit. No more campsites for a bit. Um, so yeah. Just the peace and quiet of the wilderness. We're going to go for the <laughs> peace and quiet park ups now and show you some of the beautiful Scotland. Yeah. And the sun is warming the corn land So we can't quite find the park we were looking for, but we have found this little spot. So that is where we're going to park tonight. Looks okay to me. Cracking views. What do you reckon? This will do us. Beautiful. Really peaceful. And just a woodland the other side. So next thing to go wrong just open the window to let a load of flies out and the two panes of plastic have separated at the bottom so thankfully he put some araldite in the van before we left so there's the next job to do right so if you've not seen our channel before most of our cooking we do is in ridge monkeys so this is one of them splits in half and tonight I'm just going to do simple ready meals just for ease um, we've got a uh, jerk chicken that's what Steve's having tuna pasta bake sweet and sour chicken just normal ready meals from a supermarket so we're going to pop these one in one half one in another half to start with let's go So there we go, ready meals in the Ridge Monkey, dead easy, don't need a microwave, don't need to use the oven. That's it, I've just had to slice the chicken because it's quite thick, so yeah. just cook it a bit easier. We've done it, maybe a hundred times ready meals, frozen <laughs> yeah. ready meals, yeah. uh, these are fresh ready meals, there's another ready meal there. Uh, just cook them for more or less as long as what it says in the instructions. Yeah, and obviously if you've got a chunk of meat in them, I always yeah. slice them just to cook them thoroughly. Slice it just to finish it off. Let's get tucked in, I'm starving. <laughs> I actually quite like a ready meal in Ridge Monkey. Yeah, so do I. Yeah, it's a bit cheaty a ready meal, but it, it was easy after a long day. Yeah. Um, obviously fixing the suspension and that, but this is a beautiful little place. Oh, it's cracking. We actually found somewhere on part of an night, it's about, I don't know, mm. two mile from Lockerbie. Yeah. And we kept going down this road, and can't see it, can't see it. Mm. Found this lay by and thought this'll do. Yeah. And um, we're actually eight mile away from where the other <laughs> park up was. I don't know. Yeah, I don't know what happened there do we but I do not know what happened there. Mm -hmm. But this is an absolute little gem this. Yeah, this so. is lovely and there's easily room for two vans of our mm. size here. We've seen about three cars in yeah. the last two hours we've been here, so mm -hmm. really quiet. This is where we'll stop tonight and then tomorrow we're gonna head up um get some gas on the way mm -hmm. and we're gonna head up to Glasgow to the start of a route that we've found well i say we've found it's yeah. another youtuber's made a route mm -hmm. of his ultimate route up to the isle of sky stop off points and all that. so we're going to follow his road map aren't we yeah thereabouts slowly yeah because yeah. we're in no rush to go back to work <laughs> work how dare you swear yeah so tonight we're just going to settle down watch a bit of youtube yeah watch a bit of tv just watch chill out in the peace and quiet 
Yeah, just chill out in the peace and quiet. Yeah. No noise. Absolutely perfect, That's isn't it. it? Feet up, kettle on. Spot on. See you in the morning. See you in the morning. Morning, everybody. What an absolutely beautiful morning it is. I'm about to come outside. It's cracking. The troops are still in bed. I'll put the what three words in the description to all the places we stop at. Peaceful as anything here. A few cars went by. They were just the one idiot. Now I was young once. We were all boy racers. Well not everybody, but I was a boy racer. There were two young guns last night come down here in the mum's red Vauxhall Corsa. You know the type. And I don't know how fast they were going. 80, 90. Ridiculous speeds for a road like this. It's a slight bend over crest. Actually, you could hear the wheels spin as they took off over the piece down there. It just, I mean, it spoils it. I mean, the, the, if there'd have been a horse or anything coming, they wouldn't have stood a chance. But apart from that, this has been a cracking place to stop. Now today, we're gonna to be heading further north. We're gonna head up past Glasgow. We're heading to Lot Lomond. But on the way, we need gas. But first, I need to go and get the troops up. We've managed to get the troops up, haven't we? Morning. She's finally awake. Um, we're going to head and top the gas tanks up on the way up to Lot Loma. And we're just hoping that the midges aren't going to be too bad, are we? Yeah, it's just a bit of a concern. Mm, too, but... The midges could be a bit of a concern. We'll take it as we find it. We're just going to take it as we find it. I read all this stuff online. Some people say they're bad, some people say they're not bad. Um, apparently, if you keep away from marshland where they breed, that's half the battle. So. We haven't really, there's been a few flying insects around here, just kept the blinds down, it's been actually fine here, hasn't it? So yeah, yeah, it's been nice. Go and get some gas. Hey, oh, there's a great spider on my steering wheel. <laughs> Look at that bugger. Oh, uh, where did that come from? I God, he's got long legs. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody out! <laughs> Has it gone yet? <laughs> Jesus, look at that thing. <laughs> He wants to tag along for the ride, he don't like it here. He's not coming nowhere. So we've made it to where we're stopping tonight, and we made it to Loch Lomond. Yay! Thirkin Point. Yep. Looks lovely here. Eh? Yeah. Car park, it's free to stop, isn't it? Yeah. Uh, you need a permit to stop in your motorhome overnight, so we're going to go online and do it now. I think mm -hmm. it's four quid. Four pound. Four pound or something, so yeah. it's nothing. And that's that's for any of these trustees' car parks, I think. There's toilets here and everything, so. Yep. Let's go and have a little wander around. Well, yeah. we'll get the permit first. We get managed to wedge it in that place. <laughs> and I mean, proper wedge it in. So nobody can complain we're taking up. I want to park no. lengthways across all them bays. The back end's literally sat on the floor. The isn't back it? end is on the floor <laughs> in the grass. But we're in. <sighs> and we're nearly level. Yeah, nearly. very nearly. Not far out. Not far out. Been worse. <laughs> so it turns out we needed a permit to park at the other place, and all the permits were sold out. Um, till Thursday, so we've had to move. We've come a little bit further down, and we found an absolutely cracker. This one is free, and it's got its own little beach. Look at this one. And that's where we parked. Well away from the road. Pretty level. Some scruffy buggers left the rubbish down there though. So we're going to stop here, because I can get the paddleboard out. There's about four of these laybys down the west side of Loch Lomond. Um, some of them you can't get down to the beach, this one you can. So tomorrow, we're going to get the paddleboard out. I'm actually glad we couldn't park at the last place, and if you've noticed I've got a bit of a, a, bit of a cut on top of me nose. One of the locker doors came down and nearly knocked me out, so... But yeah, we're going to stop here. Bit of road noise, not going to let it bother us. But there's a caravan park further up, and it's parked whipways in the bay so it's ticking about three bays up don't do that it could quite easily park the other way these are long enough as you can see how i'm parked now they're long enough to park normal ways so other people can get in here people are going to frown upon you for doing what he's doing it really is not it's really not a good idea to park like that and take all them spaces up it's very inconsiderate but zach's getting hungry and i think he's gonna have his usual he has just requested chicken nuggets. He's there, look, he's playing on his computer. We're doing great for power. Uh, solar's gone in there. You know, Bill? Yeah, I just had my biscuits, I have. Yeah. 
Got Mom? a full belly now. Mum, what you got? Yeah, going back in the going back in the lake. Mum, you picked my lead up. Is it Loch Lomond? Uh, Loch Loch Dogland? What is it? I don't know what it is. He won't look. He won't. He's more interested because I've picked his lead up. Yeah, so uh, it's the view out the door, look. Mm. For free as well. You have to put up with the road noise. So the road is just behind these bushes. Got tasseled in the tassely things. <laughs> tasseled by the tassels. Tasseled by the tassels. But yeah, we're going to end this week's video right here because we're going to probably spend tomorrow out on the paddleboard in the water um, just do other various things. We might stay here for two nights so you'll have to join us in the next video to see whether we stay here but we're definitely going north after here towards Glencoe. Now the last time we was here it was snowing but this time it is absolutely red isn't it? <laughs> it's one extreme to the other isn't it? One extreme to the other <laughs> and there's no midges, there's just no midges here. No. There's a few flies about, but there's no midges. Whereas I was getting eaten alive at that whatever point it was called. Yeah. So we're going to thank everybody for watching. And as always, we'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.